this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and this video encompasses the last steps in our full flash tutorial of the Sprint Motorola Expert to Cricket Wireless. One thing to note before we go into the video is that CricketUsers.com is not affiliated with Cricket Wireless or its parent company Leap. We're just a forum of Cricket users for Cricket users. First what we're going to do is go to the dialer and dial pound pound and our actual SPC and then pound. We've reset our SBC to all zeros on this device. In this menu, you can actually edit the phone number and uh, MIN, the phone number being the MDN. You just have to hit the menu button. But I go back and I check out the data profile first. And then I hit the menu button, hit edit. There's your login which is your number at mycricket.com. The HA password and AAA password might need to be manually inputted in the device and if so they are cricket in lowercase c-r-i-c-k-e-t. Looking around uh, multimedia these need to be zeroed out. Sprint tries to route media through their servers it just slows down everything and it won't work when you're with Cricket. So you can enter 0.0.0.0. .0 this also works on Sprint devices. It speeds it up by not routing the multimedia through their servers. And then the port can be changed to zero. Then do the same thing with RTSP. IP address and RTSP port. Go ahead and hit back when you're done. Here we check out some of the op other options that are in the screen. We got the MMSC and the port changed by redoing the APN and not by editing it here. In DSS we did change the operation mode to hybrid. It was on 1x. We're not sure if this matters but it definitely didn't hurt to change it to hybrid. You're going to want to make sure under the EVDO menu that DDTM is off. If you have an active data connection and you have DDTM enabled, you won't be able to receive phone calls. You can also access these menus directly by dialing pound pound DATA pound. The pound pound and your SPC pound goes into the MDN programming. What we show you here uh, is our Wi-Fi 3G fix, or what we think fixed it. We go into the settings, about phone, system updates, and then we hit update profile. We let this run for a little while, and then canceled it, as you see on the video, and then we rebooted the device. After that, when it was connected to Wi-Fi, the 3G icon would drop like it was supposed to. Uh, we were worried that this might cause extra data usage, might cause a conflict in the uh, data, which would result in uh, no data at all. But basically, if you weren't experiencing these problems, you don't have to go through that section. For more information about Cricket Wireless, this full flash tutorial, and more, please visit www.cricketusers.com subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the latest things we're working on, and like our Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash cricket users.